the saleability of bands. I mean, do, do you think it's going to be increasingly important in the 80s that um, bands look good on video, apart from their musical ability? It, it's, it's happened now. If you've got a good film, then a single does well. A lot of importance is placed on the films. It'd probably get more and more so, and now in albums as well. And that means that it's very important for people like um, yourself, because it's very obvious with you and Tube Boy Army, that you have um, a very personal image. Mm. It's, um, I'd imagine, more important for us than average guitar bands, I would say. Because the visual side of it is, is much more us than them. I'd imagine they stand more on the music side of it. So they could stick to albums if they wanted to. Derek, do you see yourself making video cassettes that are going to be bought in shops in the 80s? Yes, I think that's where the future's going to lie, really. But people, um, when the technology catches up with it, then um, the record companies will obviously have to uh, accommodate this market. So therefore they'll probably come to people like myself and ask them to produce a video to go along with the uh, music. Uh, and then they'll just market those whichever way they can, whether they hire them to the public or put them in the record shops. Are special effects, um, can they be applied to any band, or do you think that Gary suits a particular sort of effect? Yeah, Gary suits the, the, the effects that are around at the moment with modern technology, but I think called the squeeze zoom that gives us all this, a lot of the effects you've just seen. Um, other more rock and roll based bands, uh, I don't think they need um, these special effects. Right. Um, but What's it's very obvious, and we haven't got time to look into the 80s anymore in music for now, but it's very obvious we're going to hear a lot more and see a lot more of you, Gary. Thanks to Derek. And we'll leave you now with um, your latest hit, Complex.